You all have seen my videos and some of you are resonating with my general message. Today, here is my personal message to you, my spiritual brethren. For decades, I intimately knew the anguish of abuse, trauma, betrayal, and the erosion of basic trust that can accompany such painful experiences. The wounds ran deep, manifesting waves of anger, sadness, and a generalized sense that the world was an unsafe place. I searched for answers in the typical places, church, scripture, TV, preachers, therapy, overpriced rehab facilities, self-help books, even medication, sexual conquest, materialism and alcohol abuse for a time. Yet while those helped dull the symptoms, they did not get to the root of the spiritual brokenness I felt, a hole in my soul that led to nowhere but abject sorrow and self-hatred, a horrible place and feeling. It was not until I discovered the ancient wisdom of Ma'at and the perennial teachings of Stoicism that I began to access a deeper well of healing. The ideals and virtues from these noble traditions rang true at a soul level. Injustice would be balanced by truth, not only about others in my world, but about myself. Betrayal could be met with forgiveness. Anger could be transformed through self-discipline and courage. As I studied and practiced these precepts, I felt layers of pain and mistrust peel away. A lot of this wisdom I was already familiar with, this time it all made sense, hit the right parts of me like a diamond-tipped bullet. Yet it was in my newfound enthusiasm for the power of prayer and the law of vibration that I experienced profound relief. Through employing prayer in the certain way, I realigned my energy with frequencies of love, not just for others, but for myself as well using compassion and faith instead of fear and hurt. The law of vibration showed me how to elevate my consciousness and life circumstances. It has been a long journey with many ups and downs. I expect that, after all, I have only just started. But this holistic approach combining mat, stoic fortitude, vibrational attunement through prayer and drawing upon the world's spiritual technologies has quite literally been a lifeline. Previously, I didn't know if this year was my last. While I cannot say I have achieved total happiness, I have uncovered an enveloping sense of peace, purpose and relief that long eluded me. I now have a pretty good idea of what hope and resolve feels like, and I like it. If my message can serve as a beacon of hope for even one other soul who has experienced similar trials, then every bit of suffering will have been a worthwhile tuition. We all deserve to heal to attain higher frequencies of wholeness. May these teachings light the way for you as well. Sincerely, W. Kenneth Money, March 2024.